I'm Anna Carrasco. And I'm Ben Nusset. And here are your announcements for Wednesday, February 21st. There is a mandatory film festival meeting for all participants at lunch hour in room C70 tomorrow. Safe Space will be having a meeting today at lunch in Ms. Borghese's room. All are welcome. The Lens of the Land art exhibition is now open for viewing mm -hmm. for the next two weeks in the FHS Art Gallery room. Students from Mr. Diamond's Visual Arts 110 class created the work in response to learning activities that involve viewing work inspired by the New Brunswick landscape at the UMB Art Center, visiting Mactaquac Provincial Park, and learning about First Nations worldview and connection to the land. Stop by to see the impressive work. There will be a closing reception on February 28th at 3.30. More details will follow. Luke Morin from Skills Canada in New Brunswick will be here period three tomorrow to give a presentation about the upcoming Skills in Brunswick competition. Interested students are encouraged to speak to their peer three teachers for permission to attend. The deadline is quickly approaching, so please contact Mr. Hanscom about competing this year. My name is Seth Oaks. I competed at Skills Canada in the Automotive Service Technician category and placed first. I went to Winnipeg in the national competition and placed top ten. I choose to participate because one of the teachers come to me and they needed a couple more people to, to con compete so um, of course I said yes, I liked, the, liked what I did so I uh, went over. Um, so basically they split it up in I think three different days. Uh, we went and each day we'd have like a series of different uh, challenges or courses we'd have to complete. For example, one of them was they had an engine that was hooked up to a stand. And uh, on the computer it said a couple different fault codes that I'd have to go through and I'd have to figure out what the fault codes were, what was wrong, and then I'd have to fix the problem and make the engine run. Or another one was I'd have to completely disassemble a strut and uh, a knuckle and um, axle like on the front of a car, figure out what's wrong with it, uh, diagnose any problems or any missing parts and um, reassemble it in the correct position. Um, my experience was pretty good. They paid for everything, they flew us out there, they fed us, they uh, gave us a hotel to sleep in and then they uh, gave us a whole bunch of you know merchandise and we competed all for the past four days. Geography Challenge is being held today, Wednesday, February 21st in C026 in the Bottom Teaching Theater. All class winners are encouraged to participate. Provincial winners will be flown to Ottawa for the national competition and will be eligible for cash prizes. $2,000 for third, $3,000 for second, and $5,000 for first place, along with many other great prizes. There is no entrance fee. All you need to do is show up with a pencil and a lunch. Good luck. Ball hockey is on today in the main gym. The dogs will play the midget rec all-stars at lunch. A reminder to all members of the emergency response team that assessments will begin taking place this week. If you haven't signed up for a scheduled time, please do so ASAP. Please also note that some of the dates and times have changed, so check the new schedules posted outside of Mrs. Powers and Madame Fecto's room. Please also remember to arrive a few minutes prior to your assessment time. Um, there will be badminton team tryouts today at 5.15 in the side gyms. Varsity girls volleyball tryouts will continue today and tomorrow at 3.45 in the side gyms.
Glee Choir will be meeting today after school from 3.45 to 5 p.m. in room C38. In honor of Pink Shirt Day on February 28th, the Positive Action Committee has partnered up with 92.3 FM to bring you FHS's first annual Pink Shirt Day event. Entry into the event includes a free breakfast, musical performance, guest speakers, and so much more. The event will be held in the cafeteria on Wednesday, February 28th at 7 a.m. Tickets will be sold every day in the cafe at lunch for $5 until February 26th. The FHS Safeguard Prom Fashion Show will take place tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the TMT. The event is open to the public, so all grades are invited to come see the various dresses and tuxes. Tickets will be sold today at lunch, but will also be available at the door. It'll be a great night, and we hope to see you there. A reminder to all grads that fees are now due, so please pay the $120 to your homeroom teacher immediately. And those are your announcements for today. Take care and have a great day, FHS.